Okay, you guys, so I forgot to film an intro, so let's get right into figuring out how to create these shoes. You can see, you know, it's just a shoe showing you the bottom of that. All you'll need is a nice holographic fabric, some E6000 glue, two tubes of that. You need some scissors. My scissors have glue on them, but uh, yeah, pins as well, some safety pins. You just want to take that fabric, make sure you line it up right. Just take that fabric over your shoe to line it up. And as you can see here, I'm going to just make sure that's right. It's good, so I'll cut it. Cut that all the way up. And next is when we take our safety pin. So we're just going to safety pin that fabric onto the chute and that's gonna just hold everything in place you know you want to make sure that you hold everything in place so that when you start gluing you know things are where they're supposed to be glued right yeah <laughs> um, I'm just gonna speed through this part real quick And after you pin that down, you want to just go ahead and glue because we're going to start from the bottom of the shoe up. So we're just going to glue the bottom part of that shoe so we can lay the fabric down. And now you just flip that over, make sure everything's lined up right. And when you lay that over, just press into the fabric. But you will see, just like here, that when pressing into the fabric, sometimes you might get a little bubble. So just lift up your fabric and add in some more glue and smooth everything out. Um, just repeat the same thing on the other side at the bottom of the shoe. Um, your hands will get sticky, so if you don't like that feeling on your hands, like I definitely recommend maybe using like some rubber gloves. Um, although I think that your, I feel like your hands would stick to that too. Like the glue would stick to that too, so you'd still just have like messy gloves. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so after that, I'm going to start removing the safety pins. Um, or I'm going to add in a safety pin, actually. Yeah, it looks like I added in a safety pin to hold everything. You definitely want to have a dryer just to speed up the process because I'm lazy and who doesn't want things to be done sooner than later? So after that's all dried and you know, you just wanna line, make sure you line it up right and just cut right there. Go ahead and cut off the excess fabric at the top of the boot. Um, and what I did was flipping it back over, um, started gluing in the side that we pinned down first. Um, just because for me it was going to make more sense gluing that side down first instead of the side that wasn't pinned down. Use the blow dryer of course to you know speed up the process. Then remove my safety pins. Please be careful when using those because I definitely cut myself and I would not want you to do that. I decided to cut that little part of the, the fabric because I wanted everything to lay extremely flat because um, there would be a hump in it without it. Just cut that part and glue it down and flatten everything the same way you did to the heel of the shoe. Now I do know that the YSL boots, um, they weren't wedges, but these are the boots that I had already in my closet that basically needed a little bit more TLC, you know? So yeah, I decided to use these boots instead. I think they came out cute though. Make sure that everything is as seamless as possible. I like to use the back of the glue stick, because or the glue tube, instead of using my hands because I already got glue everywhere, right? <laughs> Um, cut off the extra fabric and then start gluing your little heart away again. I am a huge fan of E6000 glue. Let me tell you, if I had to sew this fabric on this shoe, like, this shoe would not get complete. I'm just being quite honest with you guys. Smoothing again everything out with that, with that tube of glue. Oh, look, and I got some finger action in there, too. 
I'm just going to speed through this process as well. Then you want to start tucking in the fabric at the top and then using your safety pins, you want to safety pin just to kind of hold everything in place again. And then you're going to glue one side in first. So glue everything down first and then you want to use you know, your blow dryer then repeat the same thing on the other side, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I think I like blow dry for maybe about 30 seconds or so, let it air dry for about another 30 seconds. Once that side is dry, just repeat the steps. There's really like three steps to creating this boot. It's glue it down, smooth it out, blow dry. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had mentioned to you guys on Instagram before that I was going to be uploading it, but I don't know. I didn't think you guys would like it, but then now I'm seeing all these videos on YouTube for the same shoe that I created three weeks ago. So here it is, and I hope you guys like it.